Germany, 1457. A greater religious awareness had increased the demand for copies of the Bible. Printing presses used carved wood letters which wore out fast until a goldsmith named Johannes Gutenberg molded letters for metal. Now type could be used over and over, printing up endless copies. Look, Gutenberg, I need those Bibles by tomorrow. I got 500 new motel rooms and nothing in the nightstands. People rip off you of bath towels when you got a Bible laying around. It's true! I heard it on Good Morning Germany! When King Darius and the Persians conquered Babylon, the king chose Daniel, a man of great faith, as one of three men to oversee the whole kingdom. Don't worry, madame. The Gutenberg Bible, the first book printed from movable type, will be a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't forget about my senior citizen's discount. Letters, I got letters, I've got lots and lots of letters. This is called The Birth of Venus, done in 1480. Like all Renaissance artists, Botticelli painted both religious and mythical subjects. Oh, I love Venus's dress. What? That's not part of the original. I thought the goddess of love could use some clothes. She looked a little chilly. But seriously, someone calls him the Britain Cartoon Zone. Letters. They're a mess! Sorry! No! Blasted destruction. I've got work to do. If I'm left alone, maybe I can finish these Bibles in time. Too late! Ah! My letters. They're a mess! What a grouch! What do you ask for? That's your great mall! No! Blasted destruction. I've got work! No can do, mister! Can me and my friends play in your lab? No, crazy kids! Now, if I can only find you. Gotcha! Well, I'm just your apple shape! P. U. He says don't give up the bookshelves! Not you, the letter you! That's not the letter I want. Ah, there it is. Now I need W. Get out! Whoa, imagine my embarrassment. No! <sighs> Too late! Ah! My letters, they're a mess! What a grouch! Damn you, loud! Damn you! Oh, you can't say that! That word is a no-no! Hello, I'm Lydia Karaoke Network Sensor. Sorry, but we're having a little problem with your choice of words. Hey, Mr. Gutenberg, do you have a bottle of glue and some tadpoles? Yeah, but what are you going to do with them? You can read about it in my new book. 101 uses for glue and tadpoles. You look more like a type A to me. My grandfather was a type A. Boy, was he a stress case. Like one time, zing, he drank a double mocha espresso just to relax. Of course. Now how about they Can we get those? Your Fs look like S's. I love that song! Number nine, number nine, number nine. Number nine? Number nine? For the last time, I don't know anything about songs or beer tiles or this rongo. Whatever! This interview is over! Going back to work. Let me be. Oh, you want bees? Bees, 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 bees. I hate bees. I'm not too crazy about C, D, and E's either. H, I, M, L, O, bees. I'd be crazy. I'm still not happy. Don't worry, Captain. We won't give up the ship, the mizzen mast, the lampshade, or the cinema. You are ruining art. I'm cleaning up filth. We're witnessing how art evokes an active passion in the viewer. It took Gutenberg four more years to complete his 1,282-page Bible. Thanks to Gutenberg, by the end of the century, 40,000 different books were published. The printing press made ideas travel faster, accelerating knowledge of religion, science, and politics, culminating in our information age. A play by William Shakespeare always stimulates your thought. Because you spent two hours trying to figure out the plot. For memory tights. So bring up the lights. Hey, honey, nanny, na, tra la la, la 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 la. Hold it, hold it! You're not finished yet. Maybe you should go print your own printing cartoon show.